guys and welcome to my channel and today we are building a dorm commons library uh kind of like combo lot i guess you could say um because i kind of feel like they would have like all the buildings kind of like together in one like small space i don't really like the way that they're kind of like spread out across campus which don't get me wrong i understand that that that's totally a better way to make it work especially for the game um, but when I first heard of university, I started just envisioning like a kind of lot where everything would just kind of be all together, where there would be like a commons area and then there would be a, uh, a dorm room close by. And a lot of the, um, like especially close to where I live, that's kind of like how it's set up. Like the campus is really tight together. Like it's really tight knit. A lot of the stuff's really close together. It doesn't like you can literally like walk to each little section it's like super close especially the college that i went to for a little while and i have some credit but <laughs> but um there it was kind of um a lot of the stuff was really close together like i could easily walk from one end of the campus to the other and maybe take 15 minutes and i mean that's including everything i mean and then right down the street i mean literally right down the street there was um like rental places for students and stuff um so but this is just kind of like what i was envisioning i was envisioning kind of like a a big space there for the center where like kind of like all the community area like where they would go to like study and stuff like that would all be really close knit close together so um i kind of placed down some objects for this way i kind of give myself an idea of where i want everything to go everything ends up getting fine-tuned down the road um but for right now it's all kind of put somewhere because <laughs> i actually i actually designed this build before university had come out so i didn't have the pack yet and so i didn't have any of the items that came with it i didn't have any of the wallpapers nothing so essentially the walls are blank they're they're, they're bland they're blank there's nothing on them it's quite boring <laughs> and um I worked way too hard because I just wanted a three wide staircase in this dang building. I was like, I want a three wide staircase. And I went back and forth on these stones. Um, I ended up changing the stones that are there. So this way it's a little bit, uh, blends a little bit more because I kind of did a lot of work to kind of put the stuff around like the edges to kind of like fine tune the edges of the uh, sidewalk and stuff. And so if the build looks a little weird right now, that's why. And so I make some adjustments and I do that. Th that's this entire video. This entire video is just building the lot. And this took a little over an hour to build. I mean, for the most part, I was able to do it kind of like all in one piece. Um, I did kind of cut out a couple of sections because there, there was a portion where the, um, the third building that I ended up working on, this one right here, the stairs and fence ended up like glitching and there was no floor up on the second story. And so um, I kind of, I kind of just dealt with the hand that I had. So I had to kind of like exit the game and re-enter the game in order to get it to go away. Because I kind of wanted these like regal staircases in all of them. But the center, the 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 center one, the one that you would walk straight up into, um, I kind of wanted the stairs a little bit off to the side because there wasn't as much space in that build as there was in the other ones. Because uh, the other buildings are a lot bigger. Well, the dorm room specifically, the one here on the left, is like way bigger than both of them probably combined and then the one to the right is a little bit smaller than that and then the one in the center is way smaller than that so I kind of just went with it <laughs> so you can see here the dirt and the stones kind of don't really match I end up changing it to that darker gray which I do love so much and then I decided to put this little like tree area here in the center so this thing was fully landscaped by the time that um, university came out just because for the most part, I didn't want to fiddle around with that kind of stuff too much. Plus, I figured there probably wasn't going to be a lot of landscaping, if there was any at all. So, I decided to just do that right away. Because I'm like, I I had watched a few videos up to that moment. And I don't think there was very much landscaping stuff. Like trees, bushes, that kind of stuff. I think there was, I think there's a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's been a minute since I've uh, played on this save file. But this is just like my building save file, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. So this is just a save file I use specifically this way I can uh, build things and I don't have to worry about displacing families, that kind of thing. And then they get uploaded. So here you can see I'm kind of just putting some items in. 
At least I can kind of get an idea of what I want, where I want it, and how I want to fit the space in here. Um, there is room for 10 sims to live in this dorm. So if you want, you can take away some of the beds if you want to make some of the rooms a little nicer. Um, you can add beds in if you want to be mean. I mean, that's all up to you. Um, I end up kind of adjusting this build quite a bit just because I was like, uh, this isn't, this isn't as big as I thought it was going to be. So I end up making it a little bit bigger from the outside. And then, um, I do a lot of terrain paint here. I think this is like the most like I've really explored with terrain paint. Um, cause that's kind of what I was looking for. And, uh, I got these street lamps here cause they're kind of like, um, cause this is going to be kind of like a quote unquote barbecue area out back, but because you can't take barbecues and you, you can't place barbecues and stoves on lots that have the university housing trait. Um, there's no barbecue here, but if you take your Sims and you place them here in this university dorm area, which I think I'm going to kind of decorate a little bit more for Brightchester. It kind of gives off a little bit more of a Brightchester feel. And you'll, you'll kind of see that because I kind of tried to keep it neutral because I wasn't quite sure which way I was going to go yet. Um, but the um, I ended up decorating the place a little bit more like Brightchester. So you can place this kind of like um, in like Newcrest or something because as it turns out, I heard the wrong lot size and so <laughs> this lot size does not match anything in university housing. I mean, you could put it right where the um, libraries, because that was my original plan. I thought it was a 40 by 30 lot. Turns out it's a 50 by 40 lot. I I realize I made the mistake now. It's a little late now. I didn't realize it was a 50 by 40 lot until way after, like I was done, pretty much almost done decorating and stuff. Um, I have considered just moving it around so this way it kind of fits on that 50 by 40 lot. Because I was thinking personally, I don't think there would be that big of a library for the campus. I mean, that seems like... It, it seems overkill, seeing as uh, the dorm rooms can only fit 10 sims per dorm. I don't think they would have a library that's 50 by 40 for... I mean, technically, I guess it's for both schools, but still, I just wasn't a big fan of it, so I was just going to make a smaller library, because I almost never send my sims to the library as it is. Um, I do place a stove and a fridge, that was just kind of like my way of... Um, to see, this is where that square was that I was having so many issues with. Um, but I do place that fridge and stove down just to make it kind of... Um, convenient, I would remember. Oh, this is where I want the cafeteria. So they do end up coming out. I place a little cafeteria thing in there. Because um, for the most part, it's fully um, furnished now. I just have to go in and do like some final touches and final details and stuff. Um, I think I pretty much just end up finishing off the terrain paint and stuff. I don't think there's very much else I'm doing to this build after this. I think there's a couple of things. It's kind of what I'm seeing. Um, but this one, this video does not have a tour. Um, the tour will not be until after I am fully done decorating the other ones, which I am so close to being done. Um, at the time that I'm recording this. It should be done by the time that this video gets uploaded, but still. Because uh, I'm probably going to work on that later today, kind of finish up the decorations and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up right here, guys. Definitely leave your comments, feedback, and suggestions all down below. So uh, let me know what is your favorite part about university. If you don't have university yet, what is the part you're most excited for? Um, definitely leave those down below. I love chatting with you guys down there. All my social media is in that description box, including my Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook page. And we are live every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday on Twitch at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.